Good morning all. In the professional ethics lecture series for the unit 3, the topic that we are going to discuss about engineers as responsible experimenters. So before that I introduce myself, I am Lohishwari from RMD Engineering College working as an assistant professor in CEC department. So in the earlier lecture series we discussed what is being by engineering and what is the difference between the um, experimentation and engineering and then we discussed the comparison chart also so how that uh, engineering is playing a crucial role in the society so those things will be discussed in this topic so engineers are the responsible experimenters also engineers facilitate experiments they are not alone in the field their responsibility shared with the uh, organization people government and others so no doubt that engineers share the greater responsibility while monitoring the projects identifying the results and then informing the clients and the public with the fact. So their responsibility is not only creating the or facilitate the experiments, they should take part in monitoring the projects, identifying the result and informing the clients and public with the facts. Based on this, they can take uh, decisions to participate or protest or to promote. So as an engineer and as an experimenter, several responsibilities of the societies are there. A conscious commitment to the moral values like if you are doing any experiment, you should think, think, about, think about the environment also as well as the human life also. So next we have to consider about the uh, comprehensive perspective on relevant information. It includes constant awareness of the progress of the experiment and the readiness to monitor the side effects if any. And then we should consider about unrestricted free personal involvement in all the steps of the project and the product or autonomy. Be accountable for the results of the projects. So first one is the consciousness. Consciousness means moral commitment. So you should be being sensitive to full range of all moral values, responsibilities relevant to the prevailing situations. The willingness to develop the skill and put efforts needed to reach the best balance possible among the considerations. In short, engineer must possess open eyes, open ears and an open mind. In the sense, it indicates that you should have a moral vision, moral reasoning and the moral reasoning. This makes the uh, engineers uh, should have a greater respect on the safety and health of health of the society. So they seek to enrich their knowledge. They should not rush for profit. They have to follow the rules and they have to care only for the beneficiary. So the human right of the participant should be protected through voluntary and an informed consent. Next one is comprehensive perspective. Perspective is that view. So like uh, engineer should grasp the context of his work in the sense they should know the understand the, what is the context of what is the work that he is doing and ensure the work involved results only in the moral lens. The result of the product, result of the experiment should be in the moral, it should be legal, it should not be Ill illegal, it should be an ethical way. One should not declare its conscience if the product or the project that he is involved will result in damage to the nervous system of the people in case of an weapon development. So it should be a problem. So if a product has a built-in absolute or a dead component of the boost sales with a false claim, in possessing the perspective factual information, you should exhibit the moral concern and not agree for this reason. So in the sense, if the engineer sees that if it is wrong, automatically, immediately, we should stop the project. We should not accept it. Moral autonomy. So it defines that the decisions and the actions exercised on the basis of the moral concern for others and the recognition of the good reasons. Alternatively, moral reasons mean self-determinant and independent. So you should ask the adequate questions of the existing economic and standards. It appears that blue collar workers with the support of women can adopt a better autonomy. So than the employed only a reason support can be obtained by the professional societies exhibiting the moral professionals as well as the so, thank you